Hey everybody, I am coming to you with my big old eyeglasses on. Um, I just got home from work slash going to the UPS store to pick up a bunch of packages I haven't picked up in about three weeks. I feel like I'm crooked. Um, I haven't picked up in about three weeks and I'm exhausted. But I wanted to do this video. I got a request from Chanel's or mom to do a MAC lipstick swatch video what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a lip swatch so thus no freaking lipstick on just a little bit of my Nivea lip balm right here so these are I hope I got all of them I think I got them all out of my bag the back row and a half is Avon so we're not going to focus on that but the others I'll be swatching some I don't wear because I don't feel like they look good on me and some are my favorites as you know so we're going to go ahead and get started and we will be starting with the first MAC lipstick and this is Diva and this is what Diva looks like um, I'm not going to swatch it on the back of my hand but I'm going to go right on in and do a lip swatch with my little trusty mirror this is one that I don't wear very much but I do like it I think it looks better with um, probably like because I like dimension to my lipstick but I'm not using any liner on any of these but probably with like night moth or current lip liner and again this is diva I hope that my camera decides it wants to focus so we won't be doing that. We're not going to show you the. I'll just tell you what the names are because I'm not feeling it right now. Anyway, I'm going to cut all that out. So this is Diva. And I really like it. I just don't reach for it that much. So let's go for the next so, one. Okay, this next one is called Frenzy. And this is what this looks like. Now... I'm not big into frost lipsticks and that's probably why this is still as full as it is. I don't know back in the day it looked like I liked it a lot though but now I don't know but let's go ahead and try that on. Oh gosh. No. Mm -mm, not Deborah. I'm too old for this. Mm -mm. That's probably going to go in the trash because I look like I got butter lips or something. I cannot stand it. This, again, is called Frenzy. Mm-mm, y'all. Even with a lip liner, I don't think I could pull this one off. I want to hurry up and get that off my lips. Okay, so this next one is called Blankety. And I really like Blankety. Next to Frenzy, I think this is my favorite nude lipstick. Although, I don't wear it much. But since my Frenzy is almost finished, I will be digging into this one. And again, no liner, so it's going to look a little chalky on my lips. But I love it. It is very moisturizing. And it looks excellent. I know it looks a little buttery, y'all. But it looks excellent when I use my um, chestnut lip liner. Don't be talking about me either. I know I look a little um, mm, powdery colored. Next up is called Arc Type. And I will I tap to type the names on the screen because this focusing thing is not working for me. And it is another one that I'm probably going to get rid of. I have not worn it in a minute. And of course, it's another nude lipstick. And it's kind of light. So bear with me, y'all. This is in the rack of stuff that I don't wear often. And it just doesn't have enough color payoff for me at all. Do you see it? Yeah, it's okay. But it just looks like I'm wearing a lip balm to me. So maybe that's why I sit in there and I don't use it. But again, this is Archetype. Okay. Moving on. The next one is Viva Glam 5, which was my first ever favorite lipstick from um, MAC. But I think... Um, Another one that I'm going to show you later that y'all already probably know about took the place of this one. But this is still one of my favorite lipsticks. Just don't reach for it that much, but I still love it. 
sorry I'm putting on lipstick like I just want to break the bullet but it doesn't have much color payoff but when I put on a lip liner with it it looks like the perfect nude lipstick for me and again this is Viva Glam 5 sorry I'm looking up I have a viewfinder over top of my camera sometimes I have to make sure I'm in focus but Viva Glam 5 alrighty I'm gonna have to look replace that already okay so this is the last one that is in the um this is the last one that is in the organizer of the lipsticks that are, max lipsticks that I don't wear that often and this last one is um unfortunately I'm gonna have to switch it out to the, the more worn ones and this is the Ruby Woo and I am going to put the Ruby Woo on without a liner now y'all bear with me I feel like I cannot pull off a red lip and I would have to wear this and this is matte as hell and it's hard to put on I feel like I look better when I give it some dimension and put on like the night moth or of course you can tell it's my favorite like the night moth or current or something to give it just a little bit of depth this red is too, too bright for me to pull off on its own I just don't have the bright red lipstick confidence it's so mad I can't even purse my lips together y'all pray for me that I don't feel like I wanna pull my lips off by the end of this video it don't have to be perfect it is a swatch video and this is Ruby Woo Sorry, I'm <laughs> making that ugly lipstick face. This is Ruby Woo. It is okay. I just need to gain the confidence to do that red lipstick thing. But it's okay. It'll grow on me. Alright, let's switch these out. And get this Ruby Woo off before it stains my lips too bad. Okay, so. Try my lips a little bit. The first one in my most used organizer is my one of my very, very favorite ones, and that is called Heroin. I feel like everybody has this lipstick, but it's a good reason. And it's matte too, but it's not as matte as it's more comfortable. It's more comfortable than the Ruby Woo. A little more moisturizing. Y'all know y'all love heroin. This is like when you just want that bold lip but you don't want to do red. This is me. I love it. To me it looks a little bit more blue in my viewfinder but my viewfinder is a hot mess. But it is definitely the best purple in the world. Okay so this next color is a really dark one and it is called Boyfriend Stealer. That's what that looks like when you feeling that vampy lip day it is very moisturizing this is a cream sheen I'm sorry I didn't tell you that formula the other ones are that's like vampy without going over the top I love it okay that's boyfriend stealer Okay, so this next lipstick, I bought it. It's a frost, and I'm not a big fan of frost, but I really never wore it when I found out this was a Kim Kardashian favorite. And if you look at the bullet, you can see that it has not really been touched. But let's put it on. It's not going to ever get anywhere, I swear to y'all. And there, I should have probably put the darker ones on first. I mean, this one gives you a pretty nice saturation of pink, but I'm not a fan. Again, this is Angel. And on to the next one. Okay, so this next one is also a cult favorite. 
and another vampy lipstick this is called rebel and I feel like this is in a whole lot of people's collection too hey, what formula is this not cream sheen it's a satin Okay, that's Rebel, and I really like that. I don't know why I haven't picked it up in a little while, but I will be pulling this out soon, probably next week. I'm gonna go in my makeup basket. So that's Rebel, and on to the next one. I have to get a new wipe because this thing is looking a hot mess right now. All right, my next lipstick is going to suffer because my lips are red, but it is Honey Love. And it is another nude. I should have done all of my nudes first. But here we go. Hopefully you get a decent interpretation of what these lipsticks look like. This is another I ate a powder donut video. I mean lipstick. This one is a matte. But it's more comfortable than Ruby Woo wonder if Ruby Woo is like ultra matte or something. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just looking. It's a retro matte. Anyway, this is Honey Love. And I, I dull it down with a chestnut lip liner. So don't be talking about me again. It's a little bit more of a pinky neutral. I don't know. I'm looking at myself. I feel like I look like an idiot. So this is Honey Love. And I'm about to take this one off. <laughs> on to the next one. Ooh, I'm on fire, y'all. This next one is another cult favorite and a personal favorite. And it is called Up the Amp. And I've seen people dupe this one on some videos on YouTube, too. This one is so comfortable. I don't want to take it off. This one is ampl and Amplified. It goes on so smooth. Keep in mind, y'all, I usually wear any MAC lipstick with a lip liner, but this one is so pretty. That is up the amp. Alrighty, on to the next one because I got quite a few more to go and my lips are screaming bloody murder right now. Okay, so this next lipstick is... The lipstick that I bought because I could, thought I couldn't pull off a red. And this is still my favorite so-called red lipstick. And this one is called Flat Out Fabulous. I had um somebody, I don't know if it was a lady at work or my sister who told me to get this. I saw somebody wearing this and they told me to get it. So I got it and I've been in love. It's another retro matte. Flat Out Fabulous. It's kind of like red and a fuchsia combined to me but this one is another one that's going to be difficult to put on because it's a retro matte and it is super dry actually right now in these bright lights it's looking right pink but that is okay I love this I know my mouth is getting ashy and carrying on but <laughs> this is flat out fabulous and it is flat out fabulous I'm sorry, I keep looking up. I'm so sorry. I'm going to stop that. That might go in the makeup basket for next week too, y'all. All right, next lipstick. Look at my crazy hair. Okay, so this next lipstick, I just... Uh, I don't know. No, I'm not doing that. This next lipstick is a neutral lipstick, but it's darker than... um. Some of the others, this one is called Faux and it's a satin. Sorry you see that lip liner on there, but let's put this on. Uh, no, we're not going to break that. The lipstick costs too much money. It's kind of a, I would call it like a mauve, neutral mauve lipstick. But that, I keep looking at that is faux. 
and I still am going to move it back to the organizer that um, of lipsticks that I don't wear much and I put um, Ruby Woo in its place. All right, y'all, we down to the last four. So this next lips next this next lipstick is a red. Maybe this was the one somebody told me to get in. I don't know, but it's called All Fired Up. It's another retro matte, and look, it it just looks dry. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and put this on this thing. It has lip liner on it. I'm sorry. My lips are like, girl, what were you thinking? I think I was able to wear this one, and I couldn't wear Ruby Woo. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I think it's pretty. And y'all... I'm sorry about my application technique because my lips are getting all dry around the edges and this lipstick is getting harder to put in on. This is again all fired up. All right, on to the next. I'm in pain. I'm going to put some lip balm on because I'm hurting. Okay, next lipstick is my absolute favorite. MAC lipstick of all time. Y'all know that. Y'all know that it's about to be on E. And that is my freckle tone. That's all I have left. I'm wearing it down, y'all. I'm trying to hurry up and use it. So I buy a new one. And you may not get the true color of this because my lips are red and it's a little sheer. So I'm going to try to put on extra. And it is a luster. Okay, so that is Freckle Tone, the best lipstick in the world, if you ask me. My favorite. And it's extremely moisturizing. And next to the last one is coming up. All right, y'all, this next one is, I think, another popular um, MAC Lippy. And this is Show Orchid, and it is an amplified and I have not worn that very much and I don't know why but I will be wearing that starting in the spring because it looks like a spring summer color to me uh and it's so nice to pull it has a little bit of a frost to it maybe that's why I haven't worn it but the color is so pretty that I think I can forgive that they made it frosty that is show orchid orchid all right we about to take this one off and we'll, we'll be trying on thank you Jesus the last lipstick all righty I will endure all of this pain just for y'all so if you want me to try any lipsticks out let me know I'll do it again all right and this last lipstick is one of um if I probably one of my top five because you know I, as you can see I have a lot of favorites and this is, I like, I don't know, because I think, I feel like I'm crazy sometimes. And I like to look like I need some oxygen. Sometimes, you know how people's lips turn blue <laughs> or some ashy color? Stone. Boom. There you go right there. I love it. And what is this one? This is a matte. As long as it's not a retro matte, I swear. Uh, this, I think I get a lot of compliments on this lipstick, even though it looks like I need a little bit of air. It is very comfortable and I just like that gray brown tone this is stone oh y'all we gonna wrap it up right here my lips are like throbbing but those are all of the MAC lipsticks that I own thus far but you know that your girl is on the lookout for some newer and prettier ones all she gotta do really is ask her sister because her sister got probably 1500 of them so um let me find out some that she really like and i'm gonna add them to my collection thank you schnauzer mom so much for requesting this video i'm glad to do it i'm sorry it took me so long to do it but y'all know i gotta do stuff when i got some energy thank you all for watching and i'm sorry for popping my lips stay tuned for um the 
what, what am I talking about? Stay tuned for future videos. I got some um, clothes. My son is texting me. I got some clothing unboxings coming up soon, probably sometime next week or next weekend. But again, thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. I'm so tired. Have a good evening. Bye.